everyone welcome to our channel knowledge of friends subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for the latest update आज हम कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स की क्लास करने वाले हैं जो कि क्लास नंबर टेन है ऑलरेडी हम नाइन क्लासेस कर चुके हैं अगर हम नाइन क्लासेस की बात करते हैं तो उसमें हमने यूनिट वन कंप्लीट कर लिया है यूनिट टू कंप्लीट कर लिया है यूनिट थ्री भी कंप्लीट कर लिया है एंड होपफुली वी विल कंप्लीट द यूनिट फोर एज वेल इन दिस क्लास एंड इफ इट इज़ नॉट एक्सीडेड मोर देन आर सो आफ्टर दैट विल डिस्कस द शॉर्ट आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन ऑफ यूनिट वन यूनिट टू यूनिट थ्री एंड एज वेल एज यूनिट फोर एज वेल सो विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो यू कैन गो थ्रू विद द सब्सक्राइब बटन इट्स अ ह्यूज रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम माई साइड टू ऑल द व्यूवर्स प्लीज गो थ्रू विद द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल सो दैट मेनी एंड मैक्सिमम पीपल कैन गेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन एट वंस एंड इवन दो यू कैन ऑल्सो इन्जॉय द वीडियो एज वेल so unit फोर will continue with that and that is your curves and surfaces last we had talked about it which is your uh, the screen subdivision method here now we'll go ahead with the question that what we have to solve it out here so the question we have is find the equation of a plane through the points two comma four comma three four comma four comma five and eight comma nine comma three. So you have to find the equation of a plane through a point which we have your four coordinates is two comma four comma three, four comma four comma five, and eight comma nine comma three here. So with this we have a solution. So here with the uh, reference towards it that what we have to discuss the algebra here. So here we'll go ahead and that the general equation through the points that we have is your. A X plus B Y plus uh, that is your C Z plus D equals to that is zero and this can be expressed in the form of A X plus B Y plus C Z uh, that A plus one equals to zero by dividing the general equation by D. And each point must satisfy the equation, so hence the equation we have is your two A plus four B. And plus three c equals to minus one, which has been represented here. The coordinates. The second we have is your four a plus four b plus uh, five c that is equals to minus one as well. And the other we have is your eight a plus nine b plus three c that is equals to minus one as well. So in the matrix form, it can be represented in the form of which is two, four, three. Four, four, five, and eight, nine, three as well. That is your A, B, C, which is equals to minus one, minus one, and minus one. So here we have A, B, C equals to two, four, three, four, four, five, and eight, nine, three. Inverse minus one, minus one, and minus one here. So hence, this we have a matrix. We will find it out. For the other, we have here in the same references towards it, which uh, we will be substitute the value, and that uh, we have here is your minus zero point five six nine zero. That is zero point two five eight six and zero point one three seven nine as well. The other row we have zero point four eight two eight minus zero point three one zero three zero point zero three four five. The third row we have is just zero point zero. That is we have here is just zero point zero six nine zero zero point two four one four. Minus zero point one three seven nine minus one minus minus one. So here we'll be having that is your A B C that we'll find the A B C equals to zero point one seven two four 
माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो सिक्स नाइन एंड माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन टू फोर है सो नाउ वे आर विल गो अड विद दिस दैट हैंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन टू फोर एक्स एंड जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन जीरो पॉइंट टू सिक्स नाइन माइनस टू जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन टू फोर जेड प्लस वन इक्वेशन वी हैव हेयर सो द इक्वेशन विल गेट हेयर जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन टू फोर एक्स प्लस सॉरी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो सिक्स नाइन वाई माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन टू फोर जेड दैट इज इक्वल्स प्लस वन इक्वल्स टू जीरो एज वेल we are in the same cases if i'm talking about uh, the alternate method we will be finding out as well if there is alternate method will, uh, which we you can solve by using a matrix method and that uh, even though that in that case also you can find it out so you can just tell me if you want that method uh, in the comment section i will be provided you that as well now we'll go ahead with other question and that the question we have the question is that calculate the mean unit surface normal to a polygon described by a four position that is the vertex we have 2 comma 2 0 comma 0 that is your b is your 0 comma 2 comma 0 and the c is 0 comma 0 comma 2 and d is your 2 comma 2.2 comma minus 2 comma 2 here and that uh, what uh, we have to solve it out here so let's go ahead with the question as well calculate the mean unit surface normal to a polygon Uh, that uh, we have a question that uh, we are doing is to calculate the mean unit surface that is normal to a polygon and uh, that described by four position vector that is a first we have two comma zero comma zero the b we have zero comma two comma zero the c we have zero comma zero comma two here and of course the d we have is your two point two comma minus two comma two here so now we calculate the edge of the polygon so the solution of this particular question we have has to be follows and that what we have to be considered about it as well and in the same references here and uh, that is uh, yeah, the question we have uh, is to be as follows that the solution and uh, that we find it out ab here which is equals to 0 minus 2 i plus 0 minus 2 j plus 0 minus 0 k so we'll get 2i plus 2j plus 0 k For the second we have is your BC that is for AB and that BC we have zero minus zero I vector that is plus zero minus two J and plus two minus zero which is K that is zero I minus two J plus two K. Now for talking about CD here that is your two point two minus zero I and that is your plus that is uh, minus 2 minus 0 j and a plus that is 2 minus 2 k so that is uh, we have equal here which is your 2.2 i minus 2 j minus plus 0 k here now we'll go ahead with the fourth one which is your ad that is equals to 2.2 minus 2 i And plus minus two minus zero j, and uh, here that is your plus two minus two zero that is your k, that is equals to zero point two i minus two j and plus two k as well. So this is a vector here. Now we'll calculate the normal at the vertices of A, B, C, D here. For that uh, we will be having uh, we will we'll have to find it out, and for that uh, we have 
n of a equals to ab cross ad so here in the same cases that we'll have as your i j k that is your minus 2 2 0 0 0.2 minus 2 and 2 so we'll get it here as your 4i plus 4j plus 3.6k here so now we'll go for N nb that is bc multiply ba that will give here else your i j k and we'll get here the matrix 0 minus 2 2 2 minus 2 0 and we'll get 4i plus 4j plus 4k as well so now for nc we'll find it out this is cd multiply cb which is equals to i j and k and that we have is your my 2.2 minus 2 0 and 0 2 minus 2 so we will get 4i plus 4.4j plus 4.4k as well now for nd we will be finding out that is of nd which we have da multiply dc which is equals to i j k which is minus 0 0.2 2 minus 2 and minus 2.2 and 2 So here that is minus 2.2 and then 0 we have and for that uh, for the nd we have 4i plus 4.4j and plus 4k. So taking the mean of all surface normal here and that we have n mean equals to 4i plus 4.2j plus 4k and hence unit surface normal is equals to four i plus four point two j plus four k upon mod of four i plus four point two j and plus four k that is equals to four i plus four point two j plus four k and that is upon under root four square plus four point two square plus four square and for that we will find out n by mean here that is uh, equals to 4i plus 4.2j and plus 4k upon that is your 49.64 and that is equals to 0.0806i plus 0.0846j and plus uh, that is 0.0806k and so note you have to note that a plane that can be described by a surface normal and a point on it uh, that uh, it uh, represented here so with this help of uh, this a question you can solve it out like this and you have to find it out like this only now we'll go ahead with the further one that what we have to discuss the another question and the question is that the uh, a solid a tetrahedron is given by a position vector which is we have your a point that is 1 comma 1 comma 1 and the b point is 3 comma 1 comma 1 c is 2 comma 1 comma 3 the d is 2 comma 2 comma 2 here so here in the same references uh, that So here we go with the, with the other question that is a solid uh, tetrahedron is a given by the position vector which is the we have a first uh, coordinate that we have is your a is your 1 comma 1 comma 1 and b is your 3 comma 1 comma 1 and c is 2 comma 1 comma 3 and the d is 2 comma 2 comma 2 here and the point light source is kept uh, at p which is 2 comma 3 comma 4 and using the back phase detection method find the surfaces on which the light falls on the surfaces which are to be shadowed that what we have to find it out let's go ahead uh, over here and that is uh, so in the reference towards this particular question what we are going to solve it out is uh, in the same uh, I will be writing a question here so that you will be getting out uh, all the questions here itself a solid tetrahedron is given by position 
vector a we have is your 1 comma 1 comma 1 b is we have 3 comma 1 comma 1 and c is we have 2 comma 1 comma 3 and d is we have 2 comma 2 comma 2 and the point light source is kept at b which is 2 comma 3 comma 4 and we are using a back face detection method find the surface on which the light falls and the surface which are to be shadow so that we have to solve it out here in the same cases with this particular question that what we have to solve it out is uh, that this is a convex object consisting of four flat triangular surfaces that calculating the surface normal projecting out to the object surfaces as well so where we'll talk about is your NACD equals to AC multiply AD which is equals to 2 minus 1 i plus 1 minus 1 j plus 3 minus 1 k multiply 2 minus 1 i plus 2 minus 1 j plus 2 minus 1 k so now we have a matrix as well that is i j k so here we have 1 0 2 and then 1 1 1 we have a coordinate as well and that will find it out minus 2 i plus j plus k so in the same cases we'll find it out for the another one which is n c b d for that c b multiply c d and even though for that we'll find it out that is your 2 minus 1 i sorry 3 minus 2 i plus 1 minus 1 j plus 1 minus 3 k multiply 2 minus 2 i plus uh, 2 minus 1 j plus 2 minus 3 k so where we will get matrix here in the form i j k that will be 1 0 minus 2 and 0 1 minus 1 so that will get it out as 2 i plus j plus k now for the other one that what we'll have to find it out is and that is your n b a d here that what we have to find it out For NBAD that is your BA multiply BD so here we have that to be followed which is your 1 minus 3 I plus 1 minus 1 J plus 1 minus 1 K multiply 2 minus 3 I plus 2 minus 1 J and plus 2 minus 1 K so that we have and the matrix for this we have i j k that is your minus 2 0 0 and minus 1 1 1 so that will get 0 i plus 2 j plus 2 k sorry minus 2 k we'll get the other one we'll find out for the another one that we have is your n a c b and that is equals to a b multiply a c and for that we'll get it out as to be that is your 
थ्री माइनस वन आई प्लस वन माइनस वन जे प्लस वन माइनस वन के मल्टीप्लाई टू माइनस वन आई प्लस वन माइनस वन जे प्लस थ्री माइनस वन के सो द मैट्रिक्स वी हैव बीन हि आई जे के वी हैव टू जीरो जीरो एंड वन जीरो टू नाउ फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द लाइट वेक्टर्स टू ईच ऑफ द सर्फिसज बाई जॉइनिंग द पॉइंट लाइट सोर्स दैट इज वी हैव योर पी एस टू थ्री फोर एट द मेन पोजिशन ऑफ द सर्फिसज सो फॉर दैट सेक वी विल बी फाइंडिंग आउट हियर एंड दैट फॉर द मेन पोजिशन ऑफ ए सी डी विल गो अहेड That is, we have one plus two plus two upon two, so upon three. One plus one plus two upon three, and one plus three plus two upon three. So when we'll solve it out, we'll get one point six six seven, one point three three three, and two. So for that, we'll find out for L A C D. That is. 1.667 minus 2i plus 1.333 minus 3 that is j and plus that is 2 minus 4k so we'll get minus 0.333i minus 1.667j minus 2k so now we'll go ahead with mean positions of that what we have to discuss here and that we have mean position of cbd which is 2 plus 3 plus 2 upon 3 1 plus 1 plus 2 upon 3 and 3 plus 1 plus 2 upon 3 and that we have the coordinates that is 2 comma 1 comma point 3 3 comma 1 point 3 3 3 here and for that i b a d so i c b d and that what uh, we find it out as well. so that is the point uh, we are dealing with here and the cbd that uh, we had to find out 2 plus 3 plus 2 by 2 1 plus 1 plus 2 And three plus one plus two, yes, that is. And the points I had written wrong. That is two point three three three, and one point three three three, and this is two. So these were the points here, and in the same references, I uh, will solve it out uh, for that only. And that is your I B C D C uh, C B D here. And that is in the same case two point three 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 minus two I plus one point three 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 minus one uh, three. J and plus two minus four that is A here. So we'll get in the form two zero point three three here I minus one point six six seven J plus minus two K. And now we'll find it out for the mean position here. That is the mean positions of B A D, and that we have mean position of B A D. That is three plus one plus two upon three. One plus one plus two upon three. One plus one plus two upon three here. So we in the same cases uh, we'll talk about it, and the coordinate we'll get it as your two comma one point three 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 comma one point three 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 here. So for I uh, that L B A D we'll talk about it. That what we have to even though solve it out as well. So we'll go ahead with the question and that we have the here that is your L B A D and that is equals to two minus two I plus one point three 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 minus three J plus one point three 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 minus four K. So we'll get here zero I. 
minus 1.667 j minus 2.667 k here now we'll find out for the mean position of acb mean position of acb which we have here as 1 plus 2 plus uh, 3 upon 3 that is 1 plus 1 plus uh, 1 upon 3 and 1 plus uh, 3 plus 1 upon 3 so the coordinate we will be getting as your in the form which is 2 comma 1 point 2 comma 1 comma 1.667 so where LACB we have 2 minus 2 i plus 1 minus 3 j and plus 1.667 minus 4 k so we will we'll get it as that in the form of which is 0 i minus 2 j minus 2.333 k here so since the normal vector are uh, protruding out of the source surface plane the surface is a back face if the dot a product of the light vector with the surface normal positive any such back face is to be shadowed leaving other surfaces that is illuminated we are checking each face for shadowing here so for that for the face acd for the face bcbd and for the face bad and for the face acb that what we have to find it out so let's go ahead here that is in the same question if i'm talking about here which is your uh, that is uh, in the reference towards the particular question that uh, what uh, we have to go through with that and that is for the phase ACD here for the phase ACD here so in the same cases that will find it out that is your N A C D multiply L A C D so that will be equals to minus 2i plus j plus k multiply 0 minus 0 0.33 so here uh, in the same cases uh, we'll talk about it which is your that is equals to minus minus 2i plus j plus k multiply minus 0 0.333i minus 1.667j minus 2k we will get that uh, that is your coordinate as your 0 0.666 and minus 1.667 minus 2 and we will get it out so here we'll get it out as well that is in the same cases uh, that uh, that will be equals to that is your minus 3.001 that is less than 0 here so in the same cases the hence uh, that is illuminated now we'll uh, talk about the for the face here for face cbd where we'll talk about NCVD, LCVD, and which we'll find it out here is to be minus 2i minus uh, that is your plus j plus k. So here that is we have multiplied by. We'll be having the another one that is. In the same cases that has been multiplied by 0.333 i minus 1.667 j and minus 2 k and that is uh, we have here is to be as follows which is your 0.666 minus 1.667 minus 2 and that will give you 3.001 that is less than 0 here in the same cases and uh, i will talk about hence it is eliminated for the phase uh, that we'll talk about another one that for phase BAD so with the four uh, that phase BAD here that is we have N BAD multiplied by L BAD that is your 0 I plus 2 J minus 2 K that multiplied by 0 I minus 1.66 j minus 2.66 k and that will give 
ज़ीरो माइनस थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री फोर प्लस फाइव पॉइंट थ्री थ्री फोर इक्वल्स टू टू एंड दैट इज लाइक ग्रेटर एन जीरो सो हैंस दैट इज शेडो एंड द फोर लास्ट वी हैव फॉर द फेस ए सी डी एंड फॉर द फेस ए सी डी वी हैव दैट इज एन ए सी बी एल ए सी बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो आई माइनस फोर जे माइनस जीरो के मल्टीप्लाइड बाय जीरो आई माइनस टू जे माइनस टू पॉइंट थ्री थ्री के एंड इट विल गिव जीरो प्लस एट प्लस जीरो दैट इज इक्वल्स टू एट विच इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो सो दैट इज हैंस दैट इज आल्सो शेडो सो यू हैव टू नोट दैट इफ द सर्फिस नॉर्मल्स आर इन द प्लेन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द सर्फिस इज टू बी शेडो इफ द डॉट प्रोडक्ट टू इज नेगेटिव एंड इफ द कैमरा इज प्लेसड ऑन द पोजिशन ऑफ द लाइट सोर्स दैट द सर्फिस विच आर एलोमिनेटेड दैट विल बी विजिबल एंड द शेडोड सर्फिस will be invisible to the camera so the above method is suitable for the non intersecting polygon as well now we'll talk about another question here that is another one is your explain hidden surface removing of scan line method here in this uh, we have to talk about many of the things in the related towards it and now we'll talk about the hidden surface removing of scan line method and that is even though which is very also important and uh, you have to be considered about it so let's go ahead that is hidden surface removing of scan line method in this that this image space method for removing a hidden surfaces is an extensions of the scan line algorithm for filling polygon interior and instead of filling just one surface we know uh, we now deal with multiple surfaces as each scan line is processed and all the polygon surfaces intersecting that line are examined to edit a mine which are visible across each scan line depth calculation that are made for each overlapping surfaces to determine which is the nearest to the view plane and when the visible surfaces has been determined the intensity value for that position is entered into the refresh uh, buffer and we assume that the tables are set up for the various surfaces which include both an edge table and a polygon table and the edge table that contains the coordinate end points for uh, each line in the scene and the inverse slope of each line and the pointers into the polygon table that to identify the surfaces bounded by each line and the polygon table that contains the coefficient of the plane equation or for each surfaces that intensity information for the surfaces and the possibly the pointers in the edge table and to facilitate the search for a surface crossing a given scan line we can set on to the active uh, list of the edges uh, from information in the edge table and the active list will contain only the edges that cross the cr uh, current scan line that is sorted in an order of increasing x and that in addition we define a flag for each surfaces that it is on uh, our uh, you know the up to indicate whether the positions along the scan line is inside or the outside of the surfaces and the scan line is processed from uh, the left to right and at the leftmost boundary of the surfaces that the surface flag is turned on and at the rightmost boundary it is turned off so in that that the active uh, line uh, list of the scan line uh, one that contain the information of the edge table of like uh, that the positions along with the between the ab and the bc of the flag line of the s as that was be mentioned on it and therefore uh, that no depth calculation are necessary and the intensity information for the surface s1 that has entered from the polygon that table into the refresh buffer and similarly between the edges uh, that on to the flag for the surface s2 is on and no other position along the scan line intersect the surfaces on the intensity value in the other areas and are set uh, to be a background intensity and that background intensity that can be loaded throughout uh, the buffer in the initialization or routine as well we are in the same cases if i'm talking about here that for scan line 2 and three and other uh, active edges list that edges uh, we have ad eh and bc and fg 
along scan line 2 from the edge of AG and that to be EH and the surfaces of S1 is on but between the edge EH and BS and that the flag of the both surfaces are on and in the, in the interval the depth calculation must be made using the plane coefficient for the two surfaces and here we have an assumed that the depth of the surfaces S1 is less than that of the surfaces S2 so the intention uh, for surfaces uh, S1 that are loaded into a refresh buffer until the boundary BC is encountered and then a flag of the surfaces S1 that goes off and that the intensity of the S2 that's stored until the edge of FG is passed. Now we'll discuss about the moreover related to the another uh, one that is in the terms of basic elimination model that we have to discuss here. So let's go ahead. Uh, with the conclusion that we'll discuss about it which is your basic uh, illumination model here but in the same case that the basic illumination model we have to discuss here that the illumination the transport of the luminous flux from light source between the point via direct and indirect parts path and that the lighting the process of computing of uh, the luminous intensity reflected from a specified 3d point and every object is a scene of uh, is a potential a source of light and light may either be emitted or a reflected from object generally in a uh, computer graphics we make a distribution distinction between a light emitters and a light reflector where the emitters are called light sources and the reflectors are usually the object being rendered and light sources are characterized by uh, their intensities while reflectors are characterized by their material property as well. Then we'll discuss moreover related uh, to the ambient light which is illumination model here. It is a uniform from all the directions of K here that is a measure of reflectivity of surface uh, for the diffuse light that is your values in the range of 0 to 1 and the ambient reflection is the result of the inter reflection from the walls and objects so however it is modeled as a constant term for the specific objects such that a 3d spheres look uh, 3d and that the appro approximates uh, diffuses reflection globally so that i equals to ka and that is uh, i here, here that is the intensity of the ambient light and ambient reflection coefficient is your k here now for the, uh, that we will we'll discuss about the diffuse reflection that is your illumination model too in that the ambient plus diffuse light which is most objects around us do not emit light of their own here with the same cases that uh, rather they absorb daylight or light emitted from their artificial sources and reflect part of it here the light that reaches the surfaces that would be scattered equally in all direction and this implies that the amount of the light and as observed by the viewers is independent of the viewers location as well we will talk about the Lambert's cosine uh, law as well that is incident intensity from a point light sources where we have a wavelength as well as the diffuse reflection function as well and that is comes under the intensity of the reflected diffuse light and then we will discuss about the Lambertian illumination model that will become with the reference towards the diffuse light and ambient light as well. Then we will discuss about the specular reflection illumination model third which is we are ambient plus diffuse plus specular light. Your many real world surfaces are glossy and such that when viewed 
uh, from a certain angle they can be seen reflecting light in a glossy surface that reflects a high proportion of light while the rest in the result of the diffuse reflection and this glossy or the shiny reflection is called the specular reflection as well we'll talk about the some of the highlight specular reflection and uh, that we have and uh, that is uh, for a project reflection services are a mirror that an angle of reflection is equals to the angle of incidence as well where in the same case for the smooth surfaces the spatial distribution of the specular light is narrow and for a rough surfaces it is spread out as well then we'll discuss about the fong model in that fong model this is the illumination mode uh, uh, three and also called a combined approach and it is an empirical illumination model Fong empirical model controls the size of the specular light here and they are uh, talk, talk about the combining the terms with the model too and that the total intensity of the light will find it out and then we have a one model where control of the intensity with the regards of the directions of a spot light and the light sources are modeled as point as reflecting surfaces using the Fong model then we'll discuss about the intensity attenuation which is attenuation is a function that is applied to a point light sources we'll discuss where and color consideration we'll discuss about it which is the most graphic displays of the realistic scenes that are in color to incorporate the color and we need to write the intensity equation as the functions of the color properties of the light sources and the object surfaces and for the rgb descriptive each color is a scene is expressed in the terms of the red green and blue components and to specify the rgb component of light sources intensities and the surfaces colors and the illumination model that calculate the rgb component of the reflected light as well even though then we'll discuss about the transparency we are that in a real time the api are of approximation within percentage of the refraction light where there is no shifting of the path and the star shadow that we'll discuss is a hidden surfaces method that can be used to locate areas where the light sources produces shadow and the shadow pattern generated by a hidden surface method that are valid for any selecting view position and as long as the light source positions are not changed and the surfaces that are visible from the view position are shaded according to the lightning model and uh, which can be combined with the texture pattern as well so we will go ahead with the detailed about it the question that we have is to explain the basic illumination model the basic illumination model an illumination model is used to calculate the intensity of the light that we should see at a given point on the surfaces of an object and illumination model is also known as the lightning model or a shading model where the surface rendering algorithm that used to produce the realistic image which involves both physics and psychology and the illumination models are derived from the physical law that describe the surface's light intensity and to minimize the intensity calculation we may use empirical models based on simplified a photometric calculation so the basic illumination model which we have here is to be as follows like lightning calculation that are based on the optical properties of the surfaces and the background lighting conditions and the light source specification and all light sources that are considered to be a point source and specified with a coordinate position and the intensity value which is your color of course and the point source of the light will uh, emit the light in uh, all the direction as well so the first we have is your ambient light in the terms of ambient light here in this that ambient light has no spatial or directional characteristics the amount of the ambient light incident on each object uh, surfaces is a constant for all the surfaces over all the direction we can set the general level of the ambient light in a scene with a parameter of ia and and each surface is illuminated with a value of light in the ambient light illumination model the intensity of the reflected light for each surfaces that depends on the optical properties of the surfaces and as well as the optical properties determines how much of the incident uh, light energy is to be reflected and how uh, much absorbed as well the second we have is your diffuse reflection here
in the term of the diffuse reflection we will talk about it where the diffuse reflection are constant over each surfaces in a scene and independent of viewing direction the objects are illuminated by the object which does not come from any specific source in the diffuse illumination model the light coming from all the direction is reflected from the walls floor and ceiling etc where the amount of the diffuse reflected light for each surfaces in a scene that can be set with parameter and the parameter that diffuse reflexity or the diffuse deflection coefficient varies between 0 and 1 and for a highly reflective surfaces which is your white surfaces and the value of the parameter k is close to 1 and for the surfaces which absorb most of the incident light which is your black surfaces and the value of the diffuse reflection coefficient that is close to 0 it is the surface uh, that is exposed to only ambient light then the intensity of the diffuse reflection at any point on the surfaces and that is your radiant energy from the surfaces as well. In the same cases uh, here that uh, we will discuss about it more in the detail and uh, which is your uh, that the diffuse reflections from the surfaces that are scattered with equal intensity in all directions independent of viewing the direction such uh, surfaces are known as ideal diffuse reflectors and Lebarchian reflectors because the radiated light energy from any point on the surfaces is governed by the Lambert's cosine law. This law states that the radiant energy from any small surfaces area d of a that uh, is in any directions of theta as well as that is relative to the surface normal to the proportional to the cos theta. Therefore, that the intensity of the light is the same over all viewing directions from the Lebardian reflection. Let the angle of the incident of the incoming light ray uh, that be theta with respect to the surface normal and of course that the projected area of the surfaces patch perpendicular to the incoming light direction is proportional to the cos theta as well. We in the same cases if the incoming light from the source is perpendicular to the surfaces at a particular point that point is fully illuminated and as the surfaces turned away from the light source that is that the angle of incidence with the normal is oblique and that the objects are less brightly illuminated and that uh, will be in the corresponding towards it where the surfaces moved away from the light sources that receive the less light as well. In where in the same cases that if uh, I uh, want that is with the intensity of the point light sources that uh, then uh, the diffuse reflection equation for that point for the surfaces we have is to be as follows which is representing the i equals to kd i cos theta in that a surface is illuminated by a point source only if the angle of incidence is between 0 degree to 90 degree that value of the cos theta in the interval from 0 to uh, 1 and when the cos theta is negative that the light sources behind the surfaces and if the n is the unit normal vector to a surface and l is the unit direction vector to the point from the position on the surfaces then the cos theta equals to nl and that as uh, here and that the diffuse reflection equation for a single point source illumination that we have here which is uh, in the cos theta you can say that uh, that is your uh, kd uh, ki nl here and that is the angle of incidence between the unit light as well. Now we'll go ahead with other question, which is explain specular reflection or a Fong model that has been asked for seven marks and the six marks as well. Now we'll discuss about it, which is your specular reflection. So in the term of the specular reflection here, that when we see an illuminated shiny surfaces like polished metal that shiny apple are apart and then we observe a bright spot or a highlighted spot at a certain viewing direction this phenomena is known as a specular reflection and a specular reflection is a result of the total near total reflection of the light is to be concatenated uh, concentrated a region around the specular reflection angle where the specular reflection angle that is denoted by the z theta uh, is the same as the angle of incident and the n so we have in the same cases that the specular reflection angle that is denoted by the theta is the same as the angle of incident light and n is the unit your normal surfaces vector 
where r is the unit vector of the direction of ideal specular reflection and l is the unit vector that is directed towards the point light sources and v is the unit vector that is pointing towards the viewer uh, that is the from uh, the surface position and angle theta is the viewing angle related to the specular reflection directed r and that in the case of an ideal reflectors and a perfect mirror that the incident light is reflected only in the specular reflection direction in the case we would only see reflected light when the vectors v and the r coincide which is theta equals to zero here and the object other than the ideal reflector have a specular reflection around the vector r here so that uh, now we'll talk about the form illumination model here Fong illumination model here. In this, that uh, the Fong Bu Tang developed uh, the illumination model for a non-perfect reflector. In this model, we assume that the maximum specular reflection occurs when zero uh, theta is zero and decreases sharply as the value zero increases here. With the same cases that uh, the sharply zero increases and the value of the angle theta that varies between zero to ninety degree and that is cos theta that varies from zero to one. And according to the Fong model, the intensity of a specular reflection is proportional to the cos theta and the value of the n that is the specular reflection parameter is determined by the type of surfaces and for very shiny surfaces, the value of n is large more than 100 and or dull surfaces that the value n is close to 1 for a perfect reflector the value n is infinite and the intensity of the specular reflection that depends on the angle of incidence on the properties of the surfaces and the color of the incident light and polarization the specular reflection uh, that coefficient uh, which we have is w theta for each surfaces that may be used to model uh, the monochromatic specular intensity variation we can write the Fong specular reflection model as well where in the same case that uh, we have uh, equation as well that we have as your i spec equals to w theta i cos theta here in this where the i is the intensity of the light sources and and the theta is viewing angle relative to a specular reflection direction where r and that is specular reflection coefficient as well in the case of the opaque material that the specular reflection rejection is almost constant for all the incident angles and therefore that replacing w theta with the constant specular reflection coefficient k and since v and r that are the unit vectors in the viewing and a specular reflection direction which is cos theta equals to v r and that we write the equation in the form which is of k i and that is in reference to r so v r here that is the projection of l on the direction of the normal vector n here now we'll go ahead with the detailed about it which is the another question and that is to discuss the combined diffused and specular reflection with the multiple light sources here. we have 
So in this, uh, the combined uh, diffused and specular reflection with a multi uh, multiple light sources. For a single point so light uh, sources that we can model the combined diffuse in the specular reflection from a point and illuminated surfaces we have. And for that, uh, it has been represented in the form of which is I equals to I diffuse plus I spectra specular which is equals to K A I A plus K D I N L plus K A I N H that is of N here and hence uh, that if we place more than one point source in the scene we obtain the light reflection at any surfaces point by summing the contribution from the individual sources and for that we have i equals to k a i a plus sum of i equals to one which is i k d n dot l plus k a n dot h one n and here to ensure that any pixel intensity that does not exceed the maximum allowable value we can apply some type of normalization procedure and a simple approach is a set of maximum magnitude for each term in the intensity equation and if it any calculated term exceeds the maximum we simply set it to a maximum value Another way to compensate for an intensity overflow is to normalize the individual terms by dividing each by magnitude of the largest term and a more complicated procedure is the first to calculate all pixel intensities for the scene and then the calculated intensities that is scaled onto the allowable intensity range as well. Now we will go ahead with the other one that is to discuss the one model. In the terms of the Vaughan model here, so far we can consider only the point light sources and the Vaughan model provides a method for simulating the studio lightning effects by controlling the light intensity of the different directions. Light sources are modeled as a point on the reflecting surfaces using the Fong model on the surfaces uh, for surface point. Then the intensity in the different directions is controlled by selecting the values for the Fong exponent. In addition, the light controls such as your uh, barn doors and spotlight playing used at the studio photographers that can be simulated uh, in the Vaughan model. And the flaps that are used to control the amount of the light emitted by a source in the various direction and the two flaps that are provided for each of them uh, that is x y and z direction where in the same case the spotlights are used to control the amount of light emitted within a cone and uh, with apex at point source position the bond model is implemented in a fixed uh, class as well now we'll discuss the, with another one that what we have to discuss here and that is what do you mean by intensity attenuation In the term of intensity attenuation as radiant energy from a point light sources travel through the space its amplitude is attenuated by a factor 1 upon d square where that is the distance that the light has traveled and this means that a surface close to the light source which is small d that receives the higher incident uh, intensity from the source that a distant surfaces near the large d and that therefore to produce the realistic lighting effects or the illumination model that should take this intensity attenuation into account otherwise we are illuminating all surfaces with the same intensity no matter how far they might be from the light source and if the two parallel surfaces with the same optical parameter overlap they, over, uh, they would uh, be indistinguishable uh, from each other and uh, that the two surfaces that would be displayed as on surfaces here uh, that as one surfaces and one simple uh, point source illumination model however does not always produce a realistic picture if you use the factor 1 upon d square to attenuate uh, intensities 
The factor 1 upon d squared produces too much intensity variations where the d is small and it produces a very little variations where d is large. Um, this is because real scenes are usually not illuminated with a point light sources and our illumination model is too simple to accurately describe the uh, real uh, lightning uh, that is effect and the graphic package that have compensated for these problems by using the inverse linear or a quadratic functions of the d attenuate intensities for example a general inverse quadratic attenuation function that can be set up here is to be as follows which is f of t equals to 1 upon a naught plus a 1 d plus a 2 d square where in the same case a user can then fiddle uh, that with the coefficient a0, a1 and a2 to obtain the variety of lightning effects of for the scene and the value for the constant term a0 that can be adjusted to prevent the f of d from becoming too large where the d is your uh, that is the small and also the value of the coefficient in the attenuation functions and the optical surfaces that parameter for a scene and that can be adjusted to prevent it, the calculation of the reflected intensities from the exceeding the maximum allowable value and this is an effective method for limiting the intensity value when a single light source is to be used to illuminate a scene and with a given set of attenuation coefficient we can limit the magnitude of the attenuation function to 1 with the calculation that we have is your f of d equals to min 1 1 upon a0 plus a1d plus a2d squared and this using this function we can write uh, the basic elimination model that to be as follows which is i equals to ka ia plus sum n i equals to 1 f d1 i l i kd and dot l plus k2 which is ks n dot h1 n squared and where the d is the distance light has traveled from the light source i as well now we'll go ahead with the further one that we have to discuss is you write a short note on color consideration In the color consideration here that most graphic displays are realistic scenes that are in a color and to incorporate the color we need to write the intensity equation as a function of the color properties of the light sources and an object surfaces for an rgb description here that is uh, each color in a scene that is expressed in the terms of red green and blue component and we then specify the rgb component of light source intensity and the surface color and the illumination model that can create the rgb component of the reflected light one way to set surfaces uh, color is to by specifying the reflectability coefficient as a three element vector and the diffuse reflection coefficient vector for example that would uh, have a rgb component like rdb rj that is your dj and uh, dg and then rdb as well we are in the same case if you want an object to have a blue surface we select a non-zero value in the range of zero to from zero to one for the blue reflectivity component and which is a kdb where the red and green respective components are the set of red kdb and kdg that is equals to zero and any non-zero red or green component in the incident line that are absorbed and only be the blue component in the reflected intensity uh, calculation for uh, this example that reduces to the single expression as well so for that the expression we have here that is your ib equals to k a b i a b plus sum i equals to 1 f 1 d i b that is kdb and dot l we are in the same case that plus k is b and h n 
So here the surface typically are illuminated with a white light source and in general we can set the surface's color so that the reflected light has non-zero values for all three RGB components and that calculated intensity level for each color component that can be used to adjust the corresponding electron gun in the RGB monitor. We are in the same case that the another method for setting surfaces color is to specify the component of diffuse and specular color vector for each surfaces while retaining the reflectivity uh, coefficient at a single value constant and for RGB color representation for instance the component of these two surfaces color vector that can be denoted here so for that uh, we have s of db s of dg and s of db and that is in the same cases that the blue component that has been uh, reflected light that can be calculated so this approaches that provides somewhat greater flexibility since the surface color the parameter that can be set independently from the reflectivity value and the other color representation beside RGB that can be used to describe the color in the scene and, and also uh, and sometimes it is a convenient to use a color model with more than a three component for a color specification. We can simply represent a component of a color specification with a spectral wavelength which is lambda and intensity of the calculation that can be expressed here has to be as follows here. Now we'll go ahead with another one that what we have to discuss here which is your other question that to discuss the transparency in the shadow write a short note on transparency and shadow here so here we'll go ahead with another one that we have to discuss that is your defined transparency and shadow In the transparency and shadow here that the transparency that the contribution of the transmitted light that depends uh, uh, on the degree of the transparency of the surface and both diffuses and specular transmission that can take place at the surface of the transparent object and realistic transparency affects the modeled by considering the light reflection and uh, when uh, light is incident upon the transparent surfaces it gets both reflected and refracted and because the speed of the light is different and different uh, for mediums so it changes the direction that has been shown here and with the ref uh, same references towards it reflections direction uh, t and the reflection uh, direction that we have r and of course that angle of the theta we have so we are the formula for this we have that is sine theta c mm -hmm. equals to n1 mm -hmm. sine theta here mm -hmm. now we'll talk about mm -hmm with another one that what we have to discuss here which is and uh, from the Snell's uh, we'll talk about it and that is in the same case for the Snell's law that the figure above we can obtain the figure transmission that vector t and that is refraction theta uh, direction uh, theta here for that we have t equals to one n2 cos theta r minus theta n minus n1 n2 l so where n is the unit uh, normal vector on the surfaces and l is the unit vector in the directions of the light we can combine the transmitted intensity through a surface from the background with reflected intensity from the transparent surfaces the total surface intensity we have here is that uh, to be as follows which is your i equals to i minus T mm -hmm. I that is mm -hmm. I reflection plus mm -hmm. K I into I trans where K I is the transparency coefficient and 1 minus K R is the capacity uh, that is your opacity factor and for a highly transparent object we assign K a value near 1 and that nearby object that uh, opaque object that transit very little uh, light for the background object and we can set uh, k at to uh, the value of the near zero and for these material that the opacity near one it is also possible to allow the k of i and that is to be a function possible over the surface and so that a different part of an object that can transmit from the less background intensity according to the values assigned to k and for the uh, talking about the shadow here that the hidden surface method that can be used to locate area where the light sources produces the shadow and by applying a light hidden surface method with the light source that to view a position we can determine which surface section uh, that uh, cannot be seen from the light sources and these are the shadow areas once we have determined the shadow areas for all the light sources the shadow could be treated as surface pattern and stored in pattern arrays 
and that is that the generations of the shading pattern of the two objects on a table and that have a distant light or source all shadow areas in the figure are the surfaces that are not visible from the position to the light sources the shadow pattern generated by a hidden source method that are valid for any selected viewing position as long as the light source position are not changed the surface that are visible for the view position that are shaded according to the lightning model and when we combine with the texture pattern we can display the shadow area with ambient light intensity and only we can combine the ambient light with a specified surface texture as well so with that object model with the shadow and the region that we have to discuss here now we'll go ahead with the end up with this uh, discussion here that uh, we have we will end up here and uh, in the next coming class we'll continue with the next uh, that as i told you about the two marks possible question of unit one unit two unit three and unit four that we'll discuss here so in these classes uh, as of i told you about it that uh, what we have to cover up here and in the next coming class we'll discuss more about the uh, related to things that in the terms of the computer graphics of the two marks possible question in unit one in this uh, subject of computer graphics what we had covered up there are the four unit which i had told you about it, which we had completed in a detail now we'll go ahead with the two marks possible question with unit one graphics devices we had completed introduction of line generation types of computer graphic graphic display random scan display raster scan display frame buffer video controller point and line line drawing algorithm circle generating algorithm mid point uh, circle generating algorithm and a parallel versions of these algorithm as well in unit two we will discuss transformation we had discussed about it which is the transformation basic transformation matrix representation and homogeneous coordinate composite transformation Transformation, reflections and sharing, windowing and clipping, viewing pipeline, viewing transformation, 2D clipping algorithm, line clipping algorithm such as Cohen, Sutherland and line clipping algorithm, Liang Baski uh, algorithm, line clipping against non rectangular clip window, polygon clipping, Sutherland, Hodgman polygon clipping, Wheeler and Atherton polygon clipping and curve clipping, text uh, clipping as well. In unit 3rd, we have to cover up the 3-dimensional, which is a 3-dimensional, 3D geometric primitive, 3D object representation, 3D transformation, 3D viewing projection, 3D clipping as well. Then after that, we'll be uh, discussing about the unit 4, which is your curves and uh, surfaces, which we had covered up, which is your curves and surfaces, quadric surfaces, spheres, ellipsoid, blobby object, introductory concepts of spline, v-spline, miserious curves and surfaces, hidden lines and surfaces, back face detection algorithm, depth buffer method, a buffer method, scan line method, basic illumination model, ambient light, diffuse reflection, specular reflection, and a form model, combined approach, one model, intensity attenuation, color consideration, transparency, and shadow. And then after that, in the next coming class, we will start discussing about the very short answer that is a uh, type question that is of two marks, which is also an important one. Other than the computer graphics, we are dealing with managerial economics. We are dealing with uh, reasoning here. That is, we had completed the verbal reasoning. We are uh, doing a non-verbal reasoning. That is the first topic of that. We are doing series, which uh, we have to complete more than 1,000 questions there. And we are doing database management system as well. And we will surely uh, start with the quantitative aptitude as well. So you can go through with that. And we had com latestly completed the data warehouse and the data mining and principle of programming languages as well. So here it's uh, an end. And thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and give a suggestion in the comment box. Thank you.